Fresh protests against India's controversial citizenship law have broken out in New Delhi despite orders banning large gatherings in some parts of the capital. Multiple rallies are also being staged across the country. But over in Gujarat, Prime Minister Narendra Modi's home state, the ruling Bharatiya Janata Party will carry out marches in support of the Citizenship Amendment Act. Ishan Gag joins us from New Delhi to tell us more. Ishan, you know, what about those protests being held today? Well, the protests today were not supposed to take place in, uh, in the first place, but the protesters uh, gathered there nevertheless. Uh, Section 144, which is a milder version of a curfew, it was imposed in a number of areas, uh, traffic was cut off, a uh, number of metro stations, subway stations were shut down. But the people, they, uh, they turned up nevertheless. There was a large speculation by political experts in the past few days, especially after Prime Minister Modi gave his uh, speech at that rally on Sunday, that uh, his uh, speech would allay some of the fears and the protests would die down or uh, at least start to cool down to a certain degree. But what happened today was a clear indication that the people are still not happy. Uh, Yogendra Yadav, who is uh, a leading uh, political scientist uh, in India and also leader of a political party, he was leading the protest there. And also there were several other smaller protests organized all around New Delhi. And the impetus uh, from these uh, of these protests seems to be coming from the younger generation, the uh, students uh, in universities and schools. They are leading the protests. However, as you pointed out correctly, uh, there are uh, some protests in Gujarat and also elsewhere in India, uh, people who are protesting against the protest against the law, which is uh, slightly confusing, but they are uh, supporting uh, the citizenship law uh, and they are protesting against people who are vandalizing public property. Ishan, the BJP lost another major state after losing elections in the state of Jharkhand over the weekend. Is this a reflection in any way of how voters feel about the Modi government and its policies now? It is an indication, yes, but it would be unfair to say that uh, this uh, protest against the citizenship law was a sole uh, reason for BJP's defeat. Uh, the issues in Jharkhand are rather more systemic. They uh, are concerned about uh, education, the people, they're concerned about sanitation, about um, uh, about very basic infrastructural things like electricity or uh, access to safe portable water. And also, since BJP was ruling the state, there was a factor of anti-incumbency. But uh, since uh, the Interior Minister Amit Shah said uh, that a national register of citizens would be carried out across the country to identify any illegal migrants in the country, any undocumented people, that, uh, that kind of made the people uh, wary a little bit of the BJP. And the Congress and its uh, alliance seems to have played on it rather well. And this election is particularly important because after the protest broke out, this is uh, the first election result to come in. And uh, it remains to be seen how these protests will affect in, uh, uh, BJP's uh, prospects in the Delhi elections, which are due next year.